Tonight, an opportunity for APS customers to have a voice. It's a developing story that we've been following for months now. Starting at 6 p.m., the Corporation Commission will welcome any APS customer to sound off on the company's proposed rate increase by telephone. Just visit azcc.gov. Again, that starts at 6 o'clock. Now, one coalition announced today that they're asking APS to forgive all summer debts racked up by Arizonans who suffered because of the pandemic. And another advocate calling for an investigation before the commission would approve a rate increase. Team 12's Joe Dana explains. Collectible, this is something that's going to be problematic. He may be the most powerful person influencing your electricity bill who you've never heard of. Elijah Abenaugh is director of the Corporation Commission's Utility Division. He can't be voted out, and he often dictates the focus of public hearings, the flow of information, and the image of APS. I think that he has been running the show to the detriment of the Arizona public for far too many years. Several key decisions under Elijah Abenaugh's leadership would appear to be in APS's favor. Abenaugh agreed to endorse the now infamous 2017 APS rate increase, which turned out to cost power customers much more than advertised, all the while making APS record profits in the process. Abenaugh also removed public shutoff data from annual utility reports in 2019, only publishing the data after 12 News broke the story. And it was Abenaugh who edited an independent report to keep negative APS internal survey data from the public and from the Corporation Commission itself. Abenaugh also kept out of that same report the independent consultant's startling conclusion that APS earned more money than authorized in 2018. APS advocate Stacy Champion, who has successfully triggered reforms involving APS, says she worries electricity customers won't get a fair shake heading into a new rate case. This is the person who is in charge of the utilities division. He's in charge of all the staff. He's in charge of how quickly things move and or don't move. Elijah Abenaugh declined to be interviewed for this story. Earlier this year, Commission Chair Bob Burns told 12 News he had confidence in Abenaugh to continue doing his job. Abenaugh's boss is Corporation Commission Executive Director Matt Newbert. Newbert declined to comment for this story. Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joe, thank you.